So now we are going to play some musical lanes because the Razor's not going to really want to lane versus uh, the, the Weaver. And then you're going, oh, it's going to be such a mess, actually. Oh. Red Monster drops a ward there on the high ground. So they do spot out pretty much the entirety of Noun's chilling. So understandable for Mad Kings to try and maneuver into that area. But eh, against five, that's a little oh, oh. complicated. Does they get the hook? <laughs> oh, though, Moo. Yeah, there's... Except your death bridge. I mean, before uh, this game, got to see Yatoro play it in the safe lane and lose, you know? Here is still a very fine line. You can really lose quite easily, but that's where the rest of the lanes, at the very least, are looking pretty standard, pretty bog standard. Gunner's been trying to do his work. He should oh, scout out. He might be in some trouble, actually. Oh, yeah. He was dropped low, but Z Freak's able to come in and secure the kill, stopping the stacks from the Chen, but. Well, at this point. The stacks are going to be coming no matter what is Moo and Adrian fighting up here in the bottom lane. Adrian doesn't win that one. RM is going to try. Fairy Fire pop for Moo, though, and he'll live through all of it. Double kill for Moo, and this lane is starting to turn it. Sucks. Yeah, I know. It's a huge kind of whiff and a miss there. And, of course, it's just with the slight level advantage and a little bit more denies that very naturally you get as big fight. But there's the Fisher. Okay, Sonic Wave is well deployed. That's a lot of damage, but I don't know if he wants to go back in for this fight. He's starting to run low on mana, but Husky's pretty damn low as well. They would love to just find the quick pickup onto him. Pablo is looking to track it down, and he should finish the job. He's getting stunned up by those Mud Golems afterwards, but I don't think they should do enough damage to kill. But look at this fight. Gustavo is trying to get in here. He's really just fighting for the stack more than anything. That's a fight that he loses. Jackie finds the kill. Gunner does come in to finish things off onto the Zeus, but... They really don't want to let the stack go, and Ooh. at this point, they might actually just kill Gunner. Can they get him? No, they can't. Starbreaker isn't quite there, but here comes Jackie Tokyo into the fight once again. They will be able to finally finish him off, but Husky respawns, TP's in. How is this fight not over yet? As Z-Freak is now the one in trouble. DOT should drop him, and now all of a sudden, Husky, he's by himself, or maybe not. Here comes the monkey. They take down Gunner as well. Pablo may have to sacrifice himself for this as Moo finally makes an appearance in this fight, right? You said you wanted him in the one up top. He does come mid this time and cleans up a double kill. It just comes at the cost of the Alchemist, but now Gustavo is coming in. Boundless Strike is going to stun up Red Monster. They find that kill and the Boundless to work with in this scenario. Z Freak's not close enough for any sort of follow-up, but it's at least pulling the Weaver away from attacking the tower, and now they're going to try and make a move here. Adrian does have that static link on him. Fissure comes out as well. Pablo did jump forward, but they're not really going to be able to actually provide assistance. Adrian goes down, and now yeah, Pablo's the next one on the chopping block. They take him down quickly. TP does come in from the Zeus, but he's not really going to be able to help. But the real play was over in the middle lane. Jack so clashy. Neither side really wants to give up any of that territory. Because you know as soon as Nouns go to take Mad King's bottom tier 1, then they lose their own as oh. Garzin finally gets picked. They've been looking for that kill for five minutes. And Z Freak finally was able to get in there for, I think, that first ult of the game. And he hits home as they find the pick. And as you said, they've been looking at for that kill so long that frees up a little bit of an opening to maybe either push onto the tier one tower directly or. Here we go. We're going for the Weaver again. Making the jump. Do they have the chain stun? Not really. Here comes Pablo into the fight. Gustavo going to be forced to pop the ult, but he's already lost so much health. Hand of God, though, is going to fix that. Healing him up. Pablo in trouble. Pablo dropped low. Pablo taken down. Hook from Pudge. Uh, it hits one of the Chen creeps, I suppose, but I'm not really sure what he was aiming for if it wasn't the creep. But either way, Pablo does go down, but now Husky is actually kind of acting as the bait. They're going to try to push in. Husky is going to die, but now you have a bit of a problem. That Fissure actually blocks off most of Nouns, and the Hook is going to pull Gunner up onto the high ground. They'll take him out. Z-Freak is now on the run, not going to make it away. Doing it against far and away the sort of top team in the field for this event of course they're only you know a third of the way there we're 22 minutes in they still have to actually win the damn thing but they're looking to push their way forward adrian though does get stunned up but here comes that solar guardian adrian he's just not taking a lot of damage but eventually they do break through the first life can they set up onto him again i'm not sure because artisan he is trying to get onto that back line red monster comes in for the follow-up damage now the sonic wave is deployed and Nouns, they're starting to lose cohesion. Too many heroes dead. Gunner's going to get hooked back into the fight, taking down Cristobal, trying to TP home. 
he will make it, but they just lose so much. Four heroes dead. Z Freak had to buy back to try and cover his teammate's escape, and now Jackie might be able to just take him down. Yeah, and hey, still killable, right? That's the name of the game. I feel like uh, immediately, yeah, queued up the BKB after oh, that. Oh boy, as, okay. Takes a lot of bursts, but now Arzen is in some trouble. Can he get the time lapse off? Not quite yet. They're not able to finish him off, though. He does get the time lapse. And now it is time for Nouns to run. They've lost E-Freak already. Husky's going to be falling here as well. The cores just need to back off while they have the opportunity. And boy, oh boy, you you can't miss uh, him. I was going to ask you, BT, do you feel like the pressure is on Mad Kings to try and get out and make some sort of aggressive maneuver? They've smoked again, so it would appear they think the answer is yes. But what do you think? Well, and very simply, it was the scout, right? They they don't have the Chen creep. They don't have that opportunity to just freely check up on that early Roche. But yeah, I feel like Mad Kings, they're going to slow down for just a sec here as Gunner. Double. Mm. And then the Centaur. Okay, they need... Important for Adrian, depending on whether or not he decides to play around his buyback, or if he does just straight up want that BKB. Because honestly, both could be fantastic for him. It just matters on how they break in these engagements. As, okay... The Gleep Nears there, but it does reveal ours, and they're going to try and stun him up continuously. Do they have enough? No, they don't. Time Lapse is able to get off, but the Sonic Wave was deployed, and all that damage is wiped away by the Hand of God. So this fight's going to get more complicated, but here comes Adrian, pushing in, trying to take down Moo. They will be able to finish him off quickly, but Gunner, he's still looking for that kill on the Popo. Gets the stun, finishes the job, but over in the river, Kusabale, look at him. He has no HP. Adrian hits him with the hook. And now Gunner is really kind of the last one. So much of their own resources to kill him, and then they don't. He just time lapses away. Jackie Tokyo says, okay, now's my time to shine. Jumps in for the Sonic, and everything just falls apart. So I know Nouns want to go for that quick and easy kill, but it's not quick or easy in these circumstances. They need better targets, and they might have just found one. Adrian does jump in, but they can't take him down fast enough either. Sonic Wave comes through. Husky is the first to fall in this engagement, and Gunner already popped the BKB. He's going to get hooked back anyway. His teammates, though, were already running. They need to turn around to help him, and they are able to get out some stuns. That's enough to take down Pablo, but Gunner just can't get out. Yeah, yeah the Pudge, it's just helpless. It's a horrible Sikio. How do you kill him? He's got BKB. He's got Lincoln Sphere. You can't put a finger on so many heroes on the Mad King side. And something that's been routine from Red Monster, even though it's been kind of lacking, is the Zeus ults to scout and now Moo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just picked off immediately, or maybe not. He's not quite dead yet. Sonic Wave drops him low, but he's still managing to get away for the time being. But Adrian, uh, he's just going to keep on chasing. They will not give up on that kill. Moo taken down. Gutter now in trouble. Down to a third of his HP. His BKB doesn't even matter. He now has to just TP home, but he's not going to make it. Adrian gets him with the dismember. Now hooks him back into the fight. Gunner just can't even move. And now to this point, I'm not sure what the hell they can do. Gustavo is going to lose his magic immunity. He's going to lose his life a few seconds later. And there's here we are. Nouns were the ones who made the small mistake, and Mad Kings now won't let them back in. Yeah, and yet again, it's another smoke scouted out completely by Red Monster with the Zeus ultimate. And now, Aki Tokyo, he's sitting in such a crazy spot. Oh, and... they saw him. But can they kill him? Nope. He's able to jump away, BKB into the blink, Gunner will self-stun, and this is getting very rough. Moo already lost half of his HP. There's going to be the Hand of God coming in, though. He does go for the Static Link onto Adrian, but Adrian is able to get the ult off onto Gustavo. They'll drop the Sonic Wave onto him as well. The Monkey King dropping fast. No one's there to help him. They're going to lose him. Husky dead as well. Moo now getting picked off, and this fight is pretty much over. Gunner finds a kill, but he immediately has to TP home. But look at Z-Freak in with a very impressive Echo, but it's just too late. Gunner's still dying. Z-Freak is going to be picked off yeah. as well, and there's your G-G-E-T. Mad Kings say, we don't care who we play. We're going to take it to him. Yeah. yeah. I'm just excited to see what Mad Kings lock in for each other. Adrian and Arzen are the two that we know of, but everything else could kind of be a question mark here as, okay, it will vary. Red Monster, yeah. That is unfortunate. Forced to deny the bounty, but that's better than giving it over to your opponents. But now with Adrian coming back in, they may finally be able to punish this Marcy. Sea Freak is so damn fast, but with the stun into the battery assault, they do finally finish him off. Yeah, man. Well, it's unfortunate, but... Hey, you still have to try and look. Taking an angle here like he thinks something no, is up, dead. but it's still coming. Yep. That is some Viper hate, and it's fully understandable because, you know, pretty much everybody hates Viper. So they will find that kill. Meanwhile, down bot Arzen, a pair of courier snipes. He did take a hell of a lot of damage, though, so I'd say sort of a, a nice sidestep from the Zeus, but it really wasn't even that. It was just kind of 
off the mark for Gunner, but he doesn't really lose too much, right, by missing out on that. He didn't take much damage from the tower. It's just kind of going to be a reset on that lane as up top Z Freak in some trouble. Moo's going to come over there with some nice damage. That does force RM out of the fight. Adrian's kind of stuck in between some heroes right now. Deciding whether he wants to go back in or not. He wants in. Moo, though, is not going down easily, but they do eventually get him. At the same time, though, over in the bottom lane, they actually found the kill onto the Medusa. So this trade top suddenly be occupying it, but that's where Nouns kind of have to figure that one out. They have to decide, are we going to play for that dive bottom? Are we going to do something else? And actually, Costa, he's yeah. trying to be nice right now. This is why he's not in the mid lane right now, and now he's dead. Oh, no. They take advantage of it. Haste rune from Jackie allows him to close the gap so quickly. And they get a pretty valuable kill there, taking down the Dusa. So... Nicely done by Mad Kings. In the meantime, quick word from our sponsor, Thunderpick. If you're topping up your balance at Thunderpick, don't forget to use promo code BITCOIN. Get yourself a 100% deposit bonus up to 500 euros as Adrian gets himself picked off in the jungle. So now have something going, but now it feels a little bit too late. You see right now, the smoke is coming, but Moo's gone. He's already rotated in and out, and they might get him in the river here, which could be big, but let's see it. There's the hook. Does he go for the pushback? Yes, he does. They drop down the macro pyre as well, and move. he's just going to hold his ground and accept the death here. He's too slow to get away, so... Okay. Mad Kings find the kill that they were really sort of hoping for. Although, they're getting kind of close to Gunner now as well. Gotta be careful. Pablo's going to get the cog trap. Can't really do much, though, as Gunner just assimilates his way out of it, but... They are now looking to sort of catch him out. He does try for the jump into the river, but Jackie Tokyo is following. Another dissimulate, though. Going to allow Gunner to escape, or maybe not. He's still got some DOT on him. The hand of God from Husky is going to be enough to keep him alive. And they are turning the fight. Jackie Tokyo's dead. Red Monster is stuck in the river. Arzen doesn't have the damage to hunt down Gunner. And that just... And they're playing deep in Mad King Vision here, but Pablo, he's getting vipered. Yeah, this is getting a little awkward. They're going to try and get Gunner again, though. And they do have the DOT on him, and okay, this time they find the kill. Arzent needs to ult. There we go, able to pull back, resets, goes back in. Moo should now be dying as well, and here comes the reinforcements. They are looking for the fight as Jackie Tokyo picks up two. I don't think they chase any further on to Z Freak, but that, that was played amazingly by Arzent. I mean, he dies at the end, but he knew, I'm dying for three kills for my team, it's going to be worthwhile. Yeah, and even though I feel like that fight are out in other ways, but now down bot, gotta be careful on Adrian here. Yeah, he didn't realize just how many heroes there were. They're jumping in onto him, and he's not quite dead yet, but he's not in a position where he can toggle the armlet either, as they do eventually finish him off. Pablo's gonna get the cog trap for a return kill onto Z Freak, but not really a worthwhile trade. But Gunner, he just actually jumped into the cogs that pushes him back a bit, but with the dissimulate, he's able to get right back on track and. And Mad Kings really can't do a whole lot in this scenario. Arzen's just now making his way over, and he's too late to really contribute. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, it's tough uh, losing the CK like that. It's not pretty. Give a lot of levels as well as Arzen. Okay. Kind of shows up here. Don't think he's dying, but that's the axe delivered. He doesn't know about it. Oh no. Mm, like Arzen it, Gunner, down. But... but now Jackie had to suicide for that. He's not getting out. Okay, um... Hmm... Well, if it becomes very apparent where you're playing, and then Nouns don't have to guess. They know you're in the triangle. They do leave some vision on the way out. It's something that Mad Kings have been very good at. Once they do get into these pretty tight areas, they always leave something, and even a little sentry for Costa to have to deal with. But, Jackie... Oh! There's the hook in from Pablo, though, creating a distraction, and... This is going to get a little bit awkward. That forces out the hand of God, but Moo gets pulled back in. Adrian gets the reality rift, and they will find the kill. Stone Gaze locks him down momentarily, but there's Z-Freak's moment. Blinks in, gets the dispose. Adrian pulled back. Adrian taken down. And that will make that a much more sort of balanced trade-off for Nouns. That was deal with it, as you see the Weaver getting his uh, Rod of Atos picked up. So he is going for that same sort of Gleep near build that we saw last time out of Arzent, and... In fairness, it was pretty damn effective in that previous match, so it doesn't really do a lot for him in terms of his damage output, but they're not relying on him for damage anyway, but they do need him to not get picked off here. He's getting jumped in on the silence is deployed. Arzen gets taken down. Pablo hook shots in onto Gunner, but they're not going to be able to actually finish him off before he gets to assimilate, but the Thunder Gods were at, yeah. 
There's your equalizer as they will take him down. The problem is still two for one in Noun's favor. Yeah, and now this is the in the middle where now it's all about the vision as they're going to start the Roshan even look a little bit deeper as Pablo. Okay. Pablo's taking some damage, but Gunner needs to be careful. The Ice Path is actually going to lock him down. Pablo gets the hook shot off as well. Gunner, he is dangerously low. He's able to get away for now as they take Pablo down. But look at Arzen. He wants to track this kill. The problem is that leaves Jackie Tokyo on the front line. That is not a scenario where anyone is going to be able to succeed on the Mad King's side. And now Arzen has to run. And he, oh my god, he is so slow at this point. He's able to Shikuchi himself away, but not quite far enough they'll hit him up he's got time lapse can he get it off though no he can't gunner comes in for the kill and yeah th this is getting not give you an opening unless you're willing to sit someone on the front line and to have a medusa with an aegis right of all the heroes to just sit on the front line and soak up damage she would be the best as arzen yeah, there's the Dispose, but the Nimbus is going to sort of cover for him. Hook shot in from Pablo, though, connecting onto Costabile, but they would really like to take out some of these other heroes. They have eyes on Moo, but there's the Stone Gaze being popped. That's going to reset the fight, but if you're Mad Kings, this was exactly what you wanted, right? That Stone Gaze down, and you are grouping up. They're going to throw out the Ice Path, then they go in with the Thunder God's Wrath, but Gunner actually just jumps directly onto the back line, but Adrian went for Moo on the back line of, uh, of Nouns, but he's not actually actually finished the kill. And now he might not actually be able to get himself out of here. He has the BKB for a few more seconds, but it will be wearing off, and th there's no one to help him. The rest of the team just can't come over, so Adrian's gonna die, and... ...be expecting Mad Kings to also be smoking, and if they found Adrian, oh, Adrian. he's gonna blink. Okay, they're gonna try to hit him up BKB? anyway. They've got the Dispose, oh, no. he didn't BKB in time. And now his BKB comes out, but he's already lost so much of his HP, he's not gonna get away. The Stone Gaze locks him down, Hookshot from Pablo, way too late to matter. And now Pablo may have just sacrificed his own life, and... Oh, Adrian just wanted to play the efficiency game there. Didn't think Z-Freak was going to be able to catch him, but... Ten minutes anyway. No As wins. RM. Master. Yeah, there's uh, not too many worlds where he survives uh, that situation. That's a full Daedalus. Got to see that nice pretty crit there from Costa Bioy, some big red numbers. But, okay, mid lane did just get killed, so... Backdoor is going to be back in uh, maybe 10 seconds, so this is a little bit of damage that they can actually do to this tier 3, and awkward Arzen spot doesn't as well. Have TP. 15 seconds on its cooldown, but oh, that doesn't even matter. It's never relevant. He just gets taken down. There's a buyback from the Jakiro, though. Red Monster is going to try and help out on the defense at this high ground, but the tier 3 has already fallen. As the Hand of God actually has to come out to save Moo. He was very nearly just taken down kind of casually on that front line. But they do manage to keep him alive for the t this Medusa. They're just going to let this go. And now, I mean... Uh, okay, Pablo tries to start the party here. There's going to be the macro fire being deployed from the side. But I'm not sure it's going to matter. They do take Gunner down. That's a nice first kill. But they need to deal with the rest of the lineup. And right now, they just can't do it. They do get Adrian out. Gustavo is going to lose the first life, maybe? No. They're not even going to be able to bring him down. So the Aegis is not reclaimed. Arzen is going to get caught out. Now they're going to try and reinitiate, but the timings just feel so off for Mad Kings. Everything that they're doing is just not as coordinated as it needs to be, and at this point, it just doesn't really feel like they have the damage to do this anyway, as Gustavale does lose the Aegis, but he's right back into the fight with the Stone Gaze and the BKB, and it's just not looking fantastic here, as Adrian's going to get locked up and taken down. Buybacks are pretty much non-existent out for Mad Kings as well, so... It's really oh, no. just down to the heroes they have left, but Jackie Tokyo is going to get hit up, tries to drop the Nimbus, looking for some damage to turn this around, but Z-Freak blinks in. They're going to look for the Dispos, but they don't actually manage to connect on it, or maybe they do. Z-Freak rebounds forward. There's the Dispos pulling Jackie Tokyo back. They'll finish him off, and that realistically has to be the... Yeah, it's just a matter of whether or not Z-Freak can hit that final Dispose, and then the game will just get closed out as he's trying to bound off that creep wave, and doesn't even need it. Okay, and then... just the blink. Yeah, super simple, and after that... I feel like uh, might get a return kill. Eh, it's not too bad. You know, at the very least, I don't know if Costa can necessarily end. I feel like he actually would rather go for those top lanes instead, but that's where there's boots of travel on the Void Spirit. Is he going to glyph the wave? Didn't need to. And now they're looking for the GG. Yeah, they're going to push their way forward a little bit as Zephyrk actually flies back as well. He has to TP onto the tier 2 outpost, or excuse me, the outpost in the north side jungle. And they're slowly but surely making their way back over, but look at Gunner. He's going to jump in. They catch out Red Monster, should be able to blow him up. Pablo, that's a valiant effort with the hook shot, but 
not going to be enough. He goes down as well. Arzen is running for his life, but the GG has been called. They'll take down the Weaver. And Nouns, uh, you get the impression they were maybe a little pissed off after dropping game one. Tusk lane, maybe it's a little bit weird. And okay. Okay. Now. That's Husker. <laughs> that's Huskar. And that's going to affect them. Oh. There's not a whole lot Nouns can do about that, right? Your Bristle does not want to leave the lane to actually go deal with that, and you have to sacrifice a little bit of farm. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. Uh, see. Nice oh, heal. heal. And now Arzen's the one in trouble. He's going to try to get away. Axes come out, so Husky might actually die first? No. Stable is able to finish it off in time, pushing forward, so... Even kills to a Bristleback, it's scary. Especially if you can get that Warpath before you can get your level 6. Then you got issues, but the mid lane on the Water Runes, this is a mess. Everybody's just chilling here. The Kurgers, they're trying to contest for it, but I think RM's about to get turned on. Um, yeah, this is getting a little bit awkward. There's the Snowball, they'll connect. Should be an easy kill. Z-Freak's coming over too, so Jackie, it might be time to get the hell out of here. But the Avalanche clips him from the river. It's not going to be enough to keep them going for a full kill here, but definitely be dying here. But Pablo's going to take a little bit of damage in exchange. Not enough to finish him off, but Husky's trying to make plays. We can make him plays, though. Back mid, Jackie. Okay, they jump it onto him. Red Monster once again is in this lane, but once again, his presence really doesn't matter as much. As yes, he's not laning. He doesn't need to. He just is going to have that level 3 Illuminate in the second here, and then he's fine. And Gunner, he's level 6. He's going to punch someone. Husky's coming over just in case. Throws out the heal. Red Monster is healing himself, actually. But now here comes Z-Freak in with the Ava. They're going to go for the toss as well. Still not enough damage to immediately oh, no. finish off the kill, but they do manage to get it. Now Pablo's trapped inside the cogs. They're going to hit him with the Shadow Wave. Pablo dropping low. Gunner, does he have anything coming back up? Well, he may have, but that's a nice three-man silence. But now the snow... Where is that going to go? That's a problem. They're going to pull underneath the tower. But if they can get the kill, they won't care. There's going to be the toss. Jackie can't... Trailing the tusk, but... It just ends up not working out. And Gunner is still on the Radiant side of the map. He's on the other high ground right now, just looking to casually punch Jackie Tokyo because he can. He's pulling the, the Tusk. And now, okay, there's a there's Dream he. Coil. Adrian's okay. here. They're going to try and make it happen. Gunner's low, but there's the Grave. There's the Toss. And he's going to be just fine. See, if he uh, Manta dodged the, uh, the the Snap Break there, then, you know, and that would have been even better, but... Can't ask for uh, too much here. Gunner, are you serious? <laughs> that, yeah, that's uh, that's maybe a little bit too much, but his teammates are here to try and get some revenge. They're going to push onto Red Monster. Z-Freak is getting the toss back in place, and yeah, that's that's nice, but I don't think they're confident. They're pushing into the jungle here. They're going to force the Huskar out. Pablo is doing his best to try and sort of defend the area, but Kosabla gets tossed on to that hoodwink, and they're just going to try and track him down. Husky's coming over as well, but so too are Mad Kings. They're going to fight this, and they're doing a decent job of it. The Roar comes in. They finish off both of the noun supports, but now they do need to deal with that Bristleback. But look at the <laughs> damage. Okay, Adrian. Well, hey, job done, right? They do get the kill, but now they need to deal with Gunner. Snowball into Pablo. Walrus Punch is going to be there. Dream Coil deployed to try and keep them locked down. But they're not really doing a great job of that. Pablo's dead. Arzen's gone. Moo is just dancing around with the move speed. He is finally slowed up by Red Monster. But there's going to be the Mad Kings we're hoping for. It really just isn't going to materialize. So you do see them starting now to split up. But that's Nouns' moment to try and push in. Will they be able to catch anyone? Yep, they got Arzen. Snowball in. Walrus Punch is going to be there. They keep him trapped in the cogs. The Avalanche keeps him locked in place so that the Illuminate can hit. And this Beastmaster just really hasn't gotten to have much of a game at all. Yeah, and That's okay. Pablo. More. Caught out in the river. Nouns just kind of getting back into the swing of it. But that shift in focus to everyone sort of being in the west side jungle was an interesting change up in tempo, but now they're on the offensive once again. Gunner, though, they are trying to establish control of that area. Yeah, and I mean, what a freaking smart thing to do, to be honest. You say, okay, the fuck's going to be making this mid-tower push a little bit oh, too jumping. As nice, Jackie, no. Oh. Oh. All right. oh, Moo with the style points. The tips, too. Okay, Husky. Husky's feeling a little sassy nice. today. The frame perfect blinding light. I didn't even get to see him. He just evaporated from the screen. But, yeah, the fight keeps continuing. Pablo, they see him. He's tossed. He's dead. It just keeps on rolling. You know, RM. Oh boy, RM is now trapped in the... 
was trapped in the shards, is able to walk himself out of it. Adrian, I don't know if you want to do this. This may not be a good idea. And he is not going to jump in. But Arsene, he's got a bit of a flanking position, but they jump in on him. There's going to be the blink. The snowball is coming through. They don't actually pull Kasabla in initially, so he can get one or two more quill sprays off. And that is going to allow them to find the kill. But on the backside, Adrian did jump in onto Z Freak. They find that kill. But now he's stuck in the middle of this fight. He's only got an armlet to sort of toggle his way through it. I don't think that's going to be enough. The snowball is going to lock him down. Mu dropped low, but the grave keeps him alive. And this fight's really just falling apart. Mu eventually gets sniped out as Jackie Tokyo's in. But now he's stuck inside of those ice shards. And Nouns will clean him up. Pablo. Pablo. Not learning his lesson the first time. Tries to come back in, hoping to snipe out a kill onto Husky Hill. They're a hundred percent peak in this game. This Gunner is just in the oh middle my of God, Gunner. three heroes. Needs some help. Um, Walrus punch. Yeah, the help is coming, but not as quickly as he might have liked. So he's gonna have to try and back away. Whereas Husky, well, okay, gonna have to wait. The snowball comes in first. Adrian's gonna get taken down. Now the grave comes through. So Gunner is not gonna be taken down just yet. The dream coil was deployed, but it doesn't get the kill. Can he get it with the orb? Yes, he can. Okay, Gunner is dead. Z Freak goes down as well, but Kostabile with the Axe is just going to march his way forward. He doesn't care. He's just looking for anybody he can. And Mad Kings, this is getting a little bit complicated. Jackie Tokyo was able to find one uh, sort of pick there onto Z Freak, I believe, but Mad Kings really don't feel like they can take this fight head to head. It's unfortunate, though, because they have the Huskar, who's a hero that kind of does like to fight a little bit, but. They have to try and sort of take things at a slower pace, but down in the bottom lane, Amu is all by himself. One of the rare times we've seen a Nouns player just entirely isolated, and they're able to take advantage of it. Tiger there. This is a crazy move, but he guesses right. Meanwhile, though, Arzen. Oh, the Roar and the Avalanche coming out pretty much simultaneously. Uh, he's not going to make it out here, unless he just tries to TP, but that's not happening either, so... Nouns will find the pick, but here is where we come down to it, right? You were sort of alluding to it. They haven't been able to get onto those tier twos. The Aegis only has a minute left on its timer. They've got to take these objectives. They've been looking for the kills so long, and the fact that you're finding them is still great, but it's about shrinking the map now, and Costable is going to sort of finally get on a point trying to hit. There is no longer the Aegis on the Bristle, so they could make something happen, but there's a smoke play that immediately actually pops, but they're in on a two. There's the Avatos combo, but yeah, they're very wary of what's going on to the north. Yeah, Adrian sort of making the move. Gunner was able to take down his support, though, as Pablo goes down, but now Jackie Tokyo in, committing the Dream Coil onto two. They'll take out Husky, so they don't have any sort of safe play with the Grave, but Adrian just doesn't have the durability. They're able to finish him off and I think at this point, the fight's going to start to peter out. Jackie Tokyo is getting caught in the river. Can he somehow jump his way out of this? The orb gets him out of the high ground, but the snowball will follow. And Gunner just cleans up all three of those kills. Triple for your tusk, and a very dangerous man at this point. I'm not entirely sure how you kill him as... Well, Mad Kings potentially jumped in on their Z-Freak with the blink into the Avatos. Atrian is the one to fall. There's that DD Walrus Punch just taking him out. And he doesn't have buyback. He's dead for 45, so Nouns, well, they may have their shot at the high ground here. You see Costabile pushing up already, looking for that tier 3 bot, and it's going to go down pretty quickly. That does force out the glyph, but now Gunner makes his move, jumping forward. Snowball into punch, RM, trying his best to get away here. He is healing up, but even if they don't get this kill, Nouns are just going to go right back to the KB. They don't want to break on Costa, but they see him. And there's Z Freak. Look at that. Three man avalanche breaking the roster in half. And Jackie, he's actually not caught just yet, but he's getting hexed up. This is turning into a little bit of a problem. But meanwhile, look at Gustavo. He's keeping half the lineup just in the back. They can't push forward, they can't go past the bristle. But Jackie is trying to do this all by himself. He was able to find one kill onto Husky. Immediate buyback there from the Dazzle. But now can Jackie get away? No, he can't. Adrian pushing his way forward. But there's going to be the defensive Snowball resetting this fight. Snowball now going in onto the Huskar. Walrus Punch actually not really there. They get the knockback from the inner fire. And, well, okay, now he'll go for the punch. And now Adrian is dead. They'll find that kill. Pablo dead as well. Turning onto RM as they'll finish him off too. And this is just turning into... Oh yeah, shooting gallery, and that's it. The GG Damn. will be thrown. Mad Kings were willing to give it one last shot, but it is not going to play out for them. Oh man, very different nouns in game two and three. I feel like they.